Hi, I'm Spiro with SP Wood Art, and thank you for joining me. I am going to use a kit to make this project, although you can buy all of these pieces separately online. But I wanted to try this kit from PSI in the United States for a while now. It's basically making a handle for a fire starter but if you have any friends or people that you know that are you know boy scouts camping survivalists things like that that they'll probably might like one of these for a gift so I hope you stick around to the very end and enjoy the show thanks Here is the PSI Fire Starter Kit, and I've also chosen to go with this olive wood because olive wood is one of my favorites, and it's going to have more of a rustic feel to the handle. Here is the magnesium rod, and here's the flint rod, and it's been rated at about 20,000 strikes, which is a lot, compared to the smaller kit that they offer, which is 6,000 strikes, and I think the only difference is probably the amount of material makes it last longer. There's also a liquid-filled compass, a lanyard tie, and a piece of metal for striking. So before you can begin turning, there will be three holes that you need to drill, one for the compass, one for the magnesium bar, and one for the lanyard strap. And you'll just want to dry fit some of the parts to make sure that all the holes are the right depth and the right diameter. And since I'm turning the entire piece of the wood, I'll clean up the ends. Now I'm going to use a jam chuck method with my Jacobs chuck. And you want to make sure that if you are going to use this type of mounting method, uh, use a draw bar on your Jacobs chuck just to be safe. And I'm sure there is... Uh, several other methods for mounting this type of wood but this is what I've chose it was just quick and simple and uh, it definitely got the job done and I felt pretty safe doing it. Using the chuck this way to mount your wood is sort of like a safety drive if I were to get a catch uh, the wood would just spin because there's no teeth on it and it's not going to go anywhere because the chuck is recessed into the hole. I mean, there's no spring-loaded uh, point, but if you keep checking the tailstock to make sure it's tight throughout your turning, you should be fine. And I'd also like to mention that I'm turning or mounting the wood this way because I'm using the whole piece, and I don't have a small enough drive to fit into that shallow hole where the compass will fit. Um, but this method seemed to work well, and I didn't have to glue anything.
took a dowel, a two-step dowel that I made and put the small end in my Jacob's chuck and slipped the other side over the handle, which I reversed. And I probably could have just mounted the wood this way to begin with, but hey, you, you live and learn. But I'm doing this in order to get closer to the inserts when I glue them. And in case you're wondering, this is a detailed spindle gouge. I also decided to use a 3mm beading tool to put some beads on each end of the handle. Next, I started the sanding process at about 150 grit and worked my way up to 600 grit. Now, since this is going to be a tool that I'm going to beat around outside and, you know, maybe in an emergency, shave some of the wood off for kindling. I'm just going to add a friction polish, about three or four coats, and then I'm going to buff each of those coats out. Then I'm going to add a top coat of this Renaissance wax, about three coats as well, and buff each coat out. First, I have these store-bought fire starter kindling pieces, and I believe there's wax and all kinds of, maybe a fuel on it, but I'm not sure, and directions say you should tear them open a little, if we can get them open. Oh yeah, there's definitely wax in this. Yeah. Right-handed, so I had them on tied it on this side. So first, I'm going to do some magnesium. I'm going to move it around so I keep it even. Actually, I think this should be a little longer. You stick it right in there, and then this is the sharp side. Right in there. And you want to direct them as many sparks as you can towards the starter and the magnesium. So after only one spark, I was able to light the fire starter and here you can see me just doing some sparks in the dark so you can see what it looks like. And I was able to just add some light twigs and then some bigger logs and then bigger logs and it worked well. Well, I'm truly amazed how this worked. Very silky smooth. I love love the olive wood. It's very like a rustic feel to it. It's nice. It's pretty light. For carrying around like camping or backpacking. Mister, do you have a knife? I do. I was just showing my viewing audience of how nice this fire starter was. 